Are you considering becoming a web developer or learning how to code this year? In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips, resources, and advice on how to get started. Also, don't forget to watch till the end of the video because I have a surprise that will help you achieve this. Hi everyone, I'm Gift. I been working as a developer for the past five years. And on this channel, I share tips, advice for developers that are already working in the tech industry and for also newbies that are interested in getting into tech. So you want to be a developer. In order to get started, there are different paths to take in becoming a developer. I would outline three of them that I'm familiar with. The first one is to go get a computer science degree. Now, this is the path that I took but it doesn't require that everybody must also follow the same path. Please note that having a computer science degree is an optional addition to your stack. It's not compulsory to have a computer science degree. I'm just letting you all know that because I've been asked a lot, gift, do I need to have a degree to work in tech? And my answer is always, no, you don't need to. But yeah, it's one of the paths to take to becoming a web developer. If you're going through this path to become a developer, it would typically take you an average of four years to get through a degree. And depending on the kind of, you know, university that you go to, you might be handed helpful resources throughout your journey there that would help you pre and prepare you for the job market. But this is not the case for everyone, specifically from my experience, doing a computer science degree for four years, was great, but it did not prepare me for the job market. I still needed to come out of that degree and teach myself how to code, right? So depends on your situation. If you're able to afford the good schools out there, then that's great. They have good curriculums that will teach you both practical and, you know, up to date things. Personally, for me, I had an outdated curriculum where I was being taught Pascal and nobody uses pascal nowadays right so it's important to have that in mind when you're choosing what path to go through the second part here is being self-taught i like to call myself self-taught because of course i had a degree but a lot of the things that i learned was after you know my university so self-taught essentially follows a process where you own your own learning journey right so you don't necessarily have anything or anybody in charge of what curriculum you should follow if you should take exams if you should write tests you're basically on the journey on your own now the good thing is that you can create as long schedule as you want or as short as you want depending on your situation i know a lot of people currently work in other industries and you're looking to pivot into tech now it's very hard to do this especially when you have another nine to five so the good thing about being a self-taught developer is that you have your own schedule you can create your own schedule depending on how you want to balance the process of learning to become a web developer that's one of the good things the con of being self-taught is that you might easily get deep motivated you're only on it on your own so it's easy to just feel like you're not learning enough or if the journey is not for you you just want to quit there is so many things i could literally write a list of the things that will make you drop out of you know the process of trying to learn on your own and i also have like another long list of things that would help you be successful when you're you know getting into learning software development or web development on your own. So self-taught is another path that you can take to becoming a web developer. Now, finally, the last path is something I personally have not tried, but I know people that have gone through it and I've seen experiences. Some of them were great. Some of them not so much. Take my advice with a grain of salt because I feel like it really depends on what you want for yourself and I'm happy to give advice on what part you should take, what are the resources you need to, you know, be successful in these different parts, but you really need to also make a decision on your own to be able to go through with it and be successful with it, right? But anyway, the last path to take to becoming a web developer is by following guided learning programs or 
boot camps. A boot camp is essentially a program with other people that are interested in learning or becoming developers like yourself. It's almost like a school setup where you come on, you have like an instructor, you have a curriculum. The good thing about boot camps is that everybody is in a position to be successful because the main idea is to be able to land a job at the end of the program, right? So a boot camp is more fast paced because a typical boot camp would last you for almost a year. While if you're going with a degree, you spend four years doing that. A boot camp also especially one in a very fast paced environment with good curriculum, good resources would help you land a job at the end of the program. So a lot of boot camps out there would set up, you know, career coaching for you to help you package your CV or your resume so that you can find a job after the program. You don't get this with some degrees, right? You also don't get this if you're learning on your own. So there are added advantages of going through a boot camp. There are also added advantages of going through computer science degree. I'm just putting it out here that there are different paths to take. And if you're looking to get into this area or if you're looking to get into tech, you should definitely do proper research and know which one fits the bill for you. Speaking about boot camps, there is one I would like to recommend to you. If you're interested in learning web development, you can learn on master school. So what is master school? Master School is a bootcamp program that partners with industry leaders to help you build your dream career. The great thing is that you don't get to pay anything upfront until you find a job and it's 100% remote and online. Master School currently has three different tracks for you to enroll to. They have the web development track, the data analysis track, and the cyber analysis track. Because this video is focused on web development, I'm going to speak more to that. Their web development track is so good that it takes you from zero to hero in learning a job as a web developer. You get to learn the web development fundamentals. You also learn object oriented JavaScript and to make the whole journey more practical, you get to build applications using react and a Node.js backend. So you learn all of these things in a period of seven months online. This is such a good deal and I'm sure a lot of you would not want to miss out on this opportunity. To top it off, they also offer you career coaching and workshops to help you land a job towards the end of the program by helping you review your resume, giving you tips and resources that would help you succeed in your job interviews when you start applying to jobs. Now, remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that you should stick around to the end because I have some amazing news to share. I'm very excited to share with you all that I'm going to be a web development master at master school. This is so exciting and an amazing opportunity for anyone looking to become a web developer. I'm excited to be part of this and helping other people start their careers in tech. Now, if you're interested, what you need to do is head over to the website. The link is in the description and also displayed on the screen. And I'm looking for 20 students to join me for my school. All you need to do is go through the application process. The first thing you need to do is send in an application, right? After that, you get an assessment test that you need to complete. If you pass that, you would move on to the next stage where you get invited for an interview. Now, after this interview, you will get accepted into the program. I'm looking forward to seeing how I can help you land your dream job as a web developer and just seeing how we can progress together in your journey to becoming a web developer. To get more details about the program, you can also send me a message. Definitely happy to answer some questions that you might have or head over to the website. There is an FAQ section answering some of the most requested questions about the program. I hope the opportunity is something that you're excited about. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.